Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider subscribing. Consider supporting this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell icon because it will be the only way that will be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to look at quite another interesting Middle East or Gulf country. Remember, we've talked about Qatar, we've talked about uh, UAE, that's Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Then we've also talked about um, Oman. In today's video, let us try to talk about Kuwait. It is one country that is, has been underestimated by most people, especially when it comes to security guards and other cleaners. Well, something we need to know. And something that we want to talk about right today is that what is a salary? What is the salary? How much are security guards paid in court? It was a question that was asked by one of the subscribers, and uh, I felt so concerned that we should also talk about court. We should not take it stupidly and put it inside. But we should also talk about it as one of the countries in the Middle East and one of the countries in the Gulf. Because it also employs security guards all over the country with all nationalities. How much is a security guard paid? Remember, a security guard in Kuwait is paid ranging from 200 KD to around 570 KD. That is the highest. That is the highest amount. And what does it mean? What does it mean at that figure? It means that if someone works for 28 days, is a different amount of money paid to him or her. And if someone pay, works 30 days, is there is an increase of the money paid to her at that time or him. But remember something that we need not to underestimate. We need to not to underlook what we call experience, gender, and the position at that time. Something I've seen different with these other Gulf countries, which is not bearing the, the same in Qatar, is that you look at countries like Oman, look at countries like um, UAE, look at countries like Kuwait. They are quite they're very different with their labor laws and their salary scales. Why? When you look at UAE, you have for a security guard, you have to undergo what you call the CIRA training. You need have to, to have what you call the CIRA license, the PCDB training, you need to have that. That will, that will be your pay. If you have the license, then you are able to accrue to a bigger pay. When you look at Oman, they normally look at uh, experience, they look at uh, level of education, they will also consider so much gender. Likewise, the same thing in Kuwait. They look at the experience, they look at the gender, then they will definitely also look at what you call the experience at a given period of time, which is quite something very unique away from the other Gulf countries so far we've talked about or so far we've discussed. So, but before we look at the salary of the security guard in, um, in Kuwait, let us try to see, because Kuwait has become a very good destination especially guards that or security guards that do not make up in Dubai. They normally run to Kuwait. If at all someone needs to have a higher amount of money and he feels he was qualified at that time in, on, in UAE but he was abscond or he, he missed by a one requirement that was in it. Normally those people run to Kuwait other than Qatar. There must be reasons why these people run to Kuwait other than these other Gulf countries. And that's what we want to briefly look at. One, strong security regulations in the Kuwait. It requires training, it requires experience, it requires agenda, and it requires to present your certificates. So meaning that if any country or any company requires such kind of documents of you, out of you or with you, to carry them with you, that means you expect what you call a higher amount of money or a higher pay at the, at the same time. Still, when you look at the pay in Kuwait, it's a little bit higher compared to other Gulf 
countries except when we talk about UAE. I think Kuwait is the second country that pays well with uh, Zurich as your security guards. Then, still Kuwait holds one of the most valuable currencies in the world. That is so unique. You expect that my, my money, when I get to have the exchange rate at the end of it or my salary, will definitely have what we call value at the end of it all. So, it makes proper that people get to think or get to run away at the same time and are like they are thinking of they are going to a place where they never have that exchange currency that will have value at the end of it all. Then still most of the their times is that Kuwait normally gives day offs and vacation. There is no rotation around. You are supposed to get your day offs by the government and that is it and you're supposed to get your vacation. So that one makes it a favorable destination spot for most of the people running away from the UAE or who have not got the cares to go to the UAE. Then still something that we need to talk about is that Kuwait most of most of people working in Kuwait are what you call expatriates. So if expatriates are working there, that means English is widely used as a language. So if widely used as a language, then that means you don't need to worry about communication because you're less assured you'll have a simplest and a short way of how to express yourself. I think that is very important. So let's go straight and see what is the salary. Remember, when you talk about salary in Kuwait, I told you, we are talking about someone's gender, someone's experience, and someone's position, which are very key aspects when we are talking about salaries in Kuwait. And remember, when you definitely look at the average salary of the highest and the smallest, you see that uh, for the highest, the smallest ranges from 200 KD, that is the lowest, and the highest ranges to 570 KD as salary in Kuwait for a typical security guard. But remember that some people who earn even typically around 380 KD, uh, that is if it's a security guard at that time. But remember, still at the same time, something that you need to know to note with Kuwait security guards is that there is a salary scale for every number of days that you work. If you work for 28 days, you find that some companies are paying up to one, 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 uh, 135 uh, KD, that is approximately 445 US dollars. And if you are definitely working for 30 days, you are paying 150 KD, which is approximately uh, 494 uh, US dollars, which is quite very good at the time. But remember that the average salary that is being paid in Kuwait for the security guards or for the workers in security guard, it will definitely include what you call housing, it will include transport, and it will also include what you call the other benefits at hand. So meaning that you are assured that you have the housing, you will have the transport allowance, and you have the other benefits afloat to you. But let us also try to see that before we definitely get to focus ourselves on the benefits and the rest, let us try to look at the experience, we look at the skills, we look at the gender and also what we call the location. Because you may find that some kind of location that have a little bit under uh, a bigger uh, pay compared to other locations. There may be reasons for that or there may be the sensitivity of that location or even uh, the hard time uh, someone gets been to that location. So you find this what you call a minimum consideration at the time that he has to get a little bit a bigger man, uh, amount of an increment in his salary. So when we look at experience itself, we are going to categorize and see if someone falls between this year and this year, how much does he have as salary in, hours, uh, in Kuwait? One, if you have less than two years, your average salary is between 240 KD. If you are two years to five years experience, your salary is estimated at 300 KD. And if you have five to 10 years experience, then your salary will be estimated at 400 KD. Then if you have 10 to 15 years, 
That means your salary will be estimated to 470 KD. And if you have that experience which is mounting to 15, 15 to 20 years, then that means you may be entitled or you are entitled to 510 KD uh, Kuwait money. At the same time, if you have 20 years plus, you will be entitled to 550 KD. Those are kind of estimates. We are thinking that those the average and estimates of the salary someone is entitled to get or someone will be getting in, uh, in Kuwait as a security guard, depending on the level of the experience as discussed below what experience you have at the same time but still what we cannot we cannot forget to discuss about when we are comparing or when you are talking about salary or security guards or any other organization we all also need not to forget what we call gender because remember when we talk about gender, we are looking at the female and the male. But remember at the same time, much as we all work in the same location, you, uh, you may find there is one gender that hunts more than the other. Let us look at compulsion by gender. And we say that men, when you look at in Kuwait, men get a higher amount of money, which is 80, an addition of 80% more than the women. Men in EU in Kuwait get get 390 kd that is an equivalent of uh, 1285 us dollars in an approximate and women get around 360 kd which is an equivalent of one uh, 1186 us dollars so you definitely get to see and you see that there is quite a difference between the two and one gets a little bit higher compared to another remember in today's video, or what we talked about, the figures provided are just average numbers. They're just giving you exactly the average numbers that in case it is this, this is what exactly it has to be at the time. But remember, to some farms, you may find someone is getting 360 KD, but he has worked for that company for like five years or six years. And apart from that, what kind of role does that person pay in that company? Or what responsibility and what has been achievement of that person in that office so you may find that at some situation that this person is totally additional or money will be more than what he earns uh, or normally what they normally earn so meaning that that kind of superiority or that kind of um, uh, is also giving this person an upper hand to get a higher salary hope i've tried to share something for you for a person asking security guard salary in the Kuwait and that is exactly what it is. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning to this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's Max from the Max Creation Team.